Paul. Um, basically, I'm getting ready to start my uh, juice fast, and I did order a pretty cool Breville uh, Icon Multi-Speed Juicer. I just got it in the mail. I ordered it from uh, Amazon.com. It took two days to get here. So I just wanted to go over it with you guys and show you what it looks like, and uh, we can test it out and see how it works. So here's a quick look at how the Breville Icon uh, Juicer comes shipped. Basically, in a pretty cool looking box. Let's take a look at the side of the box. It has some of the specifications for it. Um, let's see what it says here. Looks like it is a stainless steel body. Uh, the motor is a 900 watt motor. Um, it has five speeds ranging from 6,500 RPMs all the way up to 12,500 RPMs. Um, what else does it say about it? Let's see, it's got a three inch circular feed tube. So we should be able to fit you know, pretty good sizes of fruit inside. And what's the last thing? Let's see, it comes with a one liter juice jug um, with a frost separator. So that's pretty cool. So let me open up the box. I'll take all the parts out. We'll take a closer look at everything. All right, everyone, I've taken all the parts out of the box and put them out on the table here. I'll just kind of give you a quick overview of everything that's included with this uh, Breville Icon multi-speed juicer. So let's take a closer look at all the parts and uh, see what it's all about. First off, it looks like it comes with a pretty cool instruction manual that even has some uh, juicing recipes inside it. Um, so I'd probably definitely go over that before you even start running the machine. Make sure you uh, know how it operates and the way it uh, properly goes together. Uh, basically, I've reviewed that kind of really quick, and I'm getting ready to put it together. Um, I did actually take it apart when you first get it. Everything's kind of um, pieced together, but it's all bagged separately and all, all kind of a, attached on there. So I've unbagged everything, like I said, and placed it on the table. Um, so let's go over it. This is pretty much the um, cutting apparatus that's going to be spinning inside the machine. Uh, the Breville Icon is pretty cool because it does have the upgraded... Um, cutter mechanism on the uh, top of the head here and I believe that this one is made out of titanium some of the other ones are made out of stainless steel and um, I believe the titanium one is supposed to last a little bit longer and stay sharper a little longer but as you can see it's kind of a concave uh, shape in here and basically when you feed the, the uh, fruit down the tube is going to come down and this is what grinds away at it and all the juice goes through this little mesh screen and all the pulp stays out and it goes up um, outside and it goes to the little pulp carrier that I'll show you here in a little bit. Um, but basically this is a piece that just going to fit on top here um, after I put it together. Um, all the other pieces that fit on top, um, most of them are poly uh, polycarbonate um, built. They look uh, fairly durable and it's kind of cool because they're see-through. I know some of the other um, versions that Breville makes, um, this is all stainless steel. Uh, but I thought it might be kind of cool um, to have the polycarbonate one so you can see what's going on inside it. So um, basically this is the uh, bottom piece. And that just fits on top like that, I believe. Okay, got that nice and secure. And then you just put the cutting tool on there. You just need to make sure you line it properly, the arrows. Then just pops in. Uh, very quick and easy assembly. And as you can see, it looks like it comes apart real super easy for cleaning and uh, Pretty much all the stuff is supposed to be dishwasher safe. So that's the uh, bottom base piece. Let's see uh, what's next. We got the uh, here's the pulp container. It's just uh, this is just uh, kind of a nylon plastic. Probably be best like they always uh, recommend. Just put a plastic bag in here. It'll make for super easy uh, cleanup. So that's what I plan on doing. I'm just going to be probably using some old uh, grocery bags, the plastic bags. Just put them in here. So all I have to do is uh, lift it out and you got all the pulp ready bagged and uh, ready to throw in the trash or whatever you can do with it. Um, so that just fits on the back. I'll assemble it here in a little bit. Uh, looks like here's the top piece. It's also a see-through polycarbonate uh, with a stainless steel feed tube um, basically on the top. And as I did mention on the box, it's a 3-inch diameter feed tube. And it's uh, pretty cool because it is made out of stainless steel, so it should be uh, nice and durable. And looks like the, uh, I'm not sure you want to call this the little apparatus that kind of forces the food down inside. Looks like it's slotted, so you just need to make sure you line up the slot with the little um, edge inside it there. I don't know if you can see that. So basically that just slides in and make sure it's kind of lined up. And that's supposed to be like a guide, that little thing that is down there on the bottom. It guides the fruit or whatever you throw it in there, kind of so it hits the uh, spinning wheel at the proper uh, angle, I guess. So basically that just fits in there, and I'll fit that on top here in a moment. We'll put it all together, and we'll get ready to start uh, juicing some food. Um, also included with this uh, Breville Icon is a cool uh, one liter um, juice um, container. This is what the juice is going to be pumped into. 
So we'll get that set up. Looks like it comes with a cool little cleaning brush that you can use to clean the uh, mesh screen off after you do finish uh, juicing all your fruit and uh, vegetables. So that looks pretty cool. Um, I think that's pretty much all of it. Um, let me uh, get it assembled and then we'll uh, get a plug in and start juicing. Alright guys, we're getting ready to start juicing. As I did mention, I did put just a simple uh, uh, grocery bag inside the pulp container. So basically all the uh, spinning fragments of the fruit after it's ground out is going to be flying kind of out the back and goes down inside this pulp container. And putting the plastic bag definitely will make it easier. You just rip out the bag and you're pretty much done so you don't have to scrub it or wash it. So uh, let me put the lid on and then we'll uh, get this thing cranked up. Alright guys, got this thing all set up. Um, got the um, pulp bag already all set. Got the uh, collecting pitcher on the side. Um, real quick, let's test it out, make sure this thing works. Uh, basically, the, after it's plugged in, there's an on-off switch here. You just turn it to the on position. Um, usually make sure, you, I think you need to make sure it's in the lowest position when you first start it. Now as you can see, it's got a level indicator. Um, and it also kind of recommends what speed uh, for, for what you're putting in, like for soft fruit, level one. Um, you crank it up. Let's see, for the level two, it was like citrus fruit, fruits, so probably like more like oranges and stuff like that. Um, level three looks like it's still citrus fruits. So you want to do around four for apples and pineapples. And it's like five for hard veggies. So this thing's cranked up. It's not super loud, but uh, it sounds pretty powerful. So uh, let's bring it back down to one. And I can start throwing some soft veggies in first. And then we'll uh, put some uh, harder stuff in there and see how this thing works. All right, everyone, we're going to be starting off with some soft veggies on level one. So I just got some spinach. Let's see how this works. Throw some soft spinach in there. Just push it in. So it looks like it's going through that stuff pretty good. I'm soft veggie uh, setting. I'm gonna throw more in there so I get some uh, some good greens in there. Some iron, some vitamin A, whatever's in spinach. It's gonna be pop iron. Right? <laughs> Okay, you see all the juice coming out of it, green. Okay, so let's crank this baby up to level two. Okay, on level two, got two thumb. Okay, we're on level two. So now we're gonna try some uh, citrus on level two. They said not to push super hard on it, so you don't overly stress the uh, spinning motor down there. Just light pressure. And they said if you do it with a light pressure, it also would uh, get most of the juice out of the fruit or veggies that put in there. Like if you push too fast, it'll just go through super fast, and you won't be able to extract as much juice out of it. So let's try one more. Orange. Whoa! Let's shoot that on top. And I did take some of the peel off because I don't want the super bitter taste of the orange. So it looks like one through those pretty good. Okay, so uh, let's see. We've got some uh, cucumbers up next. Let me go to level three. Okay, we're on level three. Drop these babies in there. Oh yeah, there's a huge a lot of water in cucumbers. Okay, drop it in the half in. Yeah, it looks like it's gliding right through the cucumber. It's pretty soft. Get quite a bit of juice in the uh, pitcher. Okay, so now we're left with some hard vegetables. I got some apples and carrots, so let's crank this thing up.
Looks like we got a, a pretty full pitcher of juice uh, with all the mixed uh, ingredients that I poured in. And this uh, pitcher is pretty cool because it does have like a um, little piece in here that stops the froth. If you don't like a lot of froth in your drink, you leave that in. If you do like the froth on top of your drink, you just take that off and you can pour it in your glass. But I'm just going to pour it in the glass. And then I've got a, a spoon. I'm going to stir it up. Make sure all the ingredients are, are mixed. Let's see how it is. Hmm, it's actually uh, pretty good. It's not too bad. It's a little bit sweet, and you can taste a little bit of the green. So that's just kind of my first concoction. So um, me and Chris are going to start juicing tomorrow. So this was actually just a, a trial run. So we're going to do another video tomorrow for my first day of juicing, and see how it goes. <laughs> 